Hey, look, we just did this. This is yesterday. Spring AI 1.1. September 9th. Big release. Actually, I think there's a lot of things in here that people were... Oh, I mean, there's so much. We're going to dive into so, some of it. But so many things people God, have been the waiting for. has just been crushing it. Yeah, yeah. So I was excited to see this. I mean, I, yeah. I was I was kind of hoping for this a little bit earlier. And I, you know, like all things, there's a little bit of a delay. It's completely understandable. Yeah. But when it finally did arrive, you know, oh boy, I jumped. So and yeah. you saw, I think you did the same thing con, con, contemporaneous with me, but separate from me. Yeah. You were excited about it as well. So let's, Yeah. I guess we can dive right into it. Right? Yeah. Just as some of the highlights here, like like the MCP updates, I think are the, the biggest thing. So what is MCP? Um, Model context protocol. This is essentially the protocol for integrating into AI systems. Yeah. So integrating AI systems with other things. Yeah. And we've done a lot of talks and stuff oh. on MCP. So if you if you want to know how that all works together, including one we just did a few days ago in yeah, lovely Oslo, in, in Oslo. Norway. Yeah. That was just that was last great. week. Yeah. Java Zone. Yeah, kind of walk through end to end all the Spring AI, Amazon Bedrock. MCP, yeah. kind of everything. Client and server, we did oh, both. Yeah. And that was, it's on Vimeo.com, look for Java Zone 2025. And that was just last week, the video's already up. Yeah, Incredible. it was amazing. We got those videos up super fast. So the MCP spec's been moving really fast. Lots of changes that have happened. I mean, the thing isn't even a year old yet, MCP. It, November of 2024. Yeah. Do you remember November? I still don't. In AI timeline, it feels like years ago. But Yeah. But so... The team has been catching up to some of the spec revisions, and and there's there's been a number of new and, and exciting things, but also changes that they've been working on. So so we'll dive into some of those. But I think that's 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 kind of the highlights is the MCP stuff there, and then there's some other good stuff in here, some some model stuff, some vector stuff, multimodal processing. But but I think the the most exciting Ooh. thing that and the biggest thing that most people have been waiting for is this piece right yes here. please streamable http um support so what is that what is stream what, like why i think we should just build something so you can see well okay but can we can we well yeah sure let's let's do it in code okay 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 so let's go over to your favorite place absolutely start to spring.io and then uh, do we want to use gradle no you want sure. to well, you Where's you can it's your laptop no. you can do whatever you want okay what about language java or, or kotlin the kotlin okay you know okay and then let's add our MCP server. And let's add our Webflux. Webflux? Oh, right, because it's a streamable stuff. Right, right, right. So yeah, that's all we need. This doesn't stop you from using the web stuff as well. You can actually add both to the class path. And mm. I think you get like Tomcat, but you can use reactive stuff, basically. Cool. OK, I'm going to have to switch out the dependency version. Right? There's no way to like like get it to, to give me the Not M1. yet. We need yeah. to get that. That'd be cool like, to have a flag on here of like, give me the, give me the new things. Yeah. But, yeah. Easy, easy okay. peasy. Easy peasy. Okay, so let's unzip my demo.zip. I need your U, UAO. My, my Java J, script. Your Java yeah. script. Yes. Yeah. We'll set that up in a minute. Okay, now let's go open that thing up. Where is this? In my downloads. See, this is where there's just too much toil that I can have saved like a solid 30 seconds with your UAO. Oh, I know. Java it's just script. dead air when people well, when air. we're on stage and you've only got, you know, 130 second chunks, you know, like, yeah. Okay. We need to go update our dependency on spring. So we're going to do the 1.1.0-m1. One dot one dot yeah. And then I think that's just going to work. That, that And that's true today, but that wasn't always true. Like it, oh. it used to be, you had to have an artifact repository. Now oh, we're you had to add the milestone yeah. repo and all that. And oh, now we're publishing our stuff to Maven Central, even the milestones great. for spring oh, projects. So easy. Fantastic. Okay. I don't think we need anything else in here. That's it. Okay, let's go build build our thing. I'm with. We're going to set our MCP server. Let's see. There's a transport somewhere in here. Protocol. Okay. So we've got now three options. It used to be that we only had service and events, but let's start with service and events, just because sure. that that is the default sure. still. So we'll start with that, and then we'll we'll switch it out. Okay. Now let's go build our MCP server. So I'm going to have a component, right? And that's going to be a class greetings. Mm. Sure. Okay. I'm just letting <laughs> the AI vibe code this. But now here's here's some hot new stuff in this release. Yeah. We can do MCP tool. Boom. So nice. Description. Say hello. Right? Okay. So that that annotation is new right. in this release. And 
there was the tool annotations in Spring AI right. that were primarily used for like local in-process tools, but then also got reused for MCP tools for like yeah. remote, remote tools. Right. And there was some things that you could do in MCP that you that couldn't be expressed with the local tools. Right. And so so anyways, there's now new annotations specifically Which I think for it makes MCP. Sense. It totally makes sense. It's, it's Great. conceptually very similar. Just so as it. an example of this is now we've got this option to generate output schema. So oh. in MCP, optionally you can spec you can tell the LLM, here's my output schema. Yeah. And so now we have a parameter for that. Whereas with that tool, I don't think it made sense to like have that as a parameter because no. like you're you're running in process. Like why would you need output schema? Like For it didn't whom? even make sense. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. And so and so anyways, that's that's now great. So okay. Now here's the amazing Can thing. Can you command click on or control oh. click on the MCP tool annotation? Yeah. Let's go look at that thing. Oh look at that. Download okay. sources. Let's see those sources. Christian. God, yeah, he's just a monster. Look. Love that guy. Amazing. I'll see him next week. I'm going to oh. Amsterdam and an AI show there. Okay, what do you want to see in there? I just MCP want to see, okay, okay. runtime retention. So type and method. Yeah. So in theory, you can put that on a component. Oh. I wonder if that works or how that works. Okay, so here's here's the cool thing. Let's just run our thing because... I Is that enough? Think, I think that's <gasps> that's enough? I think that's too easy. There's no Let's method say, tool callback provider? I think it just gets, gets done automatically for us. Shut the front door. Okay, we've got our server running for 8080. Let's go to our MCP inspector. So this is a tool where you can test our MCP servers. And we're going to start with service and events. We're going to put in 8080 slash SSC. And let's see if we can connect to this thing. We're connected. <laughs> let's see if we have our tools. List tools. And there's our tool. Greet. Say hello. Run. Hello, world. Okay. We're already cooking. Like we're, yeah. We're so back. Dude, isn't that oh, just so good? So good? Like, yeah. Like that's all I had to do. In less time than you can say MCP, we have a service going. Yeah. Well, slightly less. Yeah. Yeah. So th that one was using service on events still, which is kind of the older protocol. The new one is there's kind of two variations of it streamable and stateless. So let's try streamable because that's kind of the new one that everyone wants. And let's just see if see how that, that works. So I don't think we have to change anything else in here. Like our tool stuff all stays the same. We're waiting on a graceful shutdown. Oh, you know what? I think I can make that graceful shutdown yeah, work a little bit quicker if I go disconnect the, the MCP inspector there. there but go, go to the property file. Yeah. Just do shutdown. Oh, you can tell it to like not yeah. be graceful. Just do yeah. that so it'll be quicker. Okay, what do I just shut say? Down. Grace, shut down. Is mm -hmm. this on what is it? the MCP part? No, just no. shut down. That's okay. We're not going to do many more shutdowns. What? I don't know where Can it I is. again? I'm stuck. Oh, okay, you really want I would... to shut, shut down. Server, there you go. Server shut down. Graceful. Choose immediate. Oh, I don't know why that wasn't coming up before. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll just say, screw those connections. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, we don't need you. Okay, let's start our server back up with streamable HTTP. And then when we, great, it's running for mm -hmm. 8080. Now let's go select our transport to be streamable HTTP. The endpoint for that is slash MCP by default. Yeah. And now we should be able to connect to that thing. <gasps> Boom, tools. Let's clear it. List tools, greet. Yes, Say please. hello. Run. Yes. Boom. Now, so this is what is this? this what's the difference? Oh, okay. So a little bit of history on the MCP specification. They support two different ways, or they initially supported two different ways to interact with an MCP between an MCP client and server, client server architecture. Mm -hmm. One was standard IO. Yeah. Standard IO, you get two unidirectional channels. Right, like standard in and standard out. Yep. Like it's it it's a it's a very weird protocol for that doesn't at all look like the world of network protocols. Right. Right. I mean it would be like two UDP channels, you know, in, in right. each in one direction, you know. We don't really do that with network. No protocols. First of all, because a stream can be bidirectional, so you don't, the fact that you have two is weird. Yeah. Instead of just one bidirectional channel. You know? Yeah. So so in the initial specification, they were, I think, trying to, to have something that kind of looked like the standard I.O. 
protocol over the internet. And so what they did was they made it so that you send a post request to a URL. Or no, first you actually initialize, you, you make a Git request to a URL. That opens up a server and events stream back to your client. And then whenever you want to tell the MCP server to do something, you send a post to another URL. And then it's just like, ACK. And then any response that that has comes back through your service and events. Asynchronously. Yeah. And there's no correlation between, between, you know, before and after. I mean, there is. I, causal, it's, you know. it's just, there was nothing good about this setup <laughs> because it, it became really hard to scale horizontally because then you had to route messages, the post to where the service and events connection was set right. up. Because it's stateful. Um, stateful. Exactly. Yeah. And so I get why that was like, you know, the first pass. And again, this is all like, like super new. But so then they, in March this year, they were, they essentially replaced the service and events protocol with another protocol called Streamable HTTP. And that one did kind of like a basic request response. But there's some places in MCP where you actually want some state. Because you may, there's a few places where your server may want to like send notifications to the right. client. And if you don't have a connection nailed open, then how do you actually send that? And there's a few other places where, where you actually like, like want to like have some state. The, the, some the direct connection, uh, yeah. ongoing connection. Yeah. And so in streamable HTTP, you, there's two variations of it. One is that you can do still do some of those more stateful oriented kind of things in MCP. Yeah. But then there's also the stateless variation of MCP where there's certain things that you can't do in MCP, like send notifications because yeah. it's stateless. So, Did um, the stateless, I remember reading, maybe it came to pass or not, I don't know, but is there basically a session cookie that gets sent back that you can use to resume or is that not there? Or am I, thinking I can't else? remember. I know that there is the ability to do like paging and progress indication. And so, so, so that maybe that's what it is like. Because yeah. the whole point with streaming is like, I want to be able to resume where I lost the connection, right? Right, if, right. If I've got that context, I can just say, hey, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's in this. I have no idea. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to dive in. Like the um, AI models, I can hallucinate. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. This yeah, is super and good. It's, it, obviously, it's all... Moving so fast, it's hard to keep up with all the, the things. Totally. But now that Spring AI has support for the latest parts of MCP, now I get a chance to, to, to dive in further. And it's the good thing is it supports streamable HTTP and service on events if you still want that yep. for some reason. It's becoming um, increasingly like a really good and scalable approach to scaling out AI. Because, I mean, the AI moment is, if nothing else, a very big drain on infrastructure, electric, electric, electricity grids, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, this kind of stuff, being able to scale out that, you know, I, I want more wins in that, in that department, you know, yeah. AI yeah. one, Earth zero, but maybe now slightly better for Earth over here. You know? I did see that one of the other new features in the spring milestone is prompt caching with the Anthropic model. So oh, that's, that's oh a, and that's a local in spring AI already. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it was just here in the release notes, but, um, but yeah, I mean, that's a good way to use less electricity, right? So this one wow. here was, there it is. Anthropic cloud prompt caching. So. Wow. 90% cost reduction and improved latency for autonomous agent workflows, like in Babel, which we just looked at, Yeah, you know, 10 minutes ago, whatever. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. So isn't that cool? That is, I mean, I'm going to use it. I'll download it. Oh, yeah. Well, and think of how many tokens are just basically processing the same exact thing. Because they have and to, right? They're, they've, we send a transcript. Yeah. And each time it's successfully longer. So you're spending each subsequent in interaction costs more electricity, energy, yeah. tokens, everything, you know? Yeah. yeah. So prompt caching maybe helps with it's, it's kind of an some of those things. Infinite money glitch on their side. Like, <laughs> like they, of course, they want us to have longer and longer iterative conversations with their models because every single one is. Yeah. You know, what's that, what's that uh, series where, you know... Oh, yeah, Fibonacci. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like every single one becomes the... Yeah. No, it's factorial. It's like yeah. Yeah. the sum of everything before. Yeah. And then again, you know, yeah. like, yeah, it's whatever. It's Yeah, it's I mean, there's lot. ways to like prune your memory and history and all that Message kind of window. And, yeah, chat. exactly. You can use the message window. But yeah, right. but yeah, I mean, if you if you just let it run unconstrained, then yeah, you are going to just, just 
yeah. until you reach your your max context. Right. <laughs> like bankruptcy. Yeah. <laughs> until you <laughs> until you go bankrupt. Oh, that's um, so good. Yeah. So all sorts of good stuff in here. And we only showed that one annotation, but sure. there's there's actually a bunch now. And I, I haven't even had a chance. I mean, it just came out yesterday. Just yesterday. So, so and you were flying <laughs> on that. I was working on this on the plane. But the of course the spring AI docs have all the latest here. So if you switch over to preview. Oh, it's so no good. And then if you go to reference MCP, specifically on the annotations, you can just pull up this page and then it has all, okay, wait, the, go all back, the new go annotations. Back. I know, it's so good. Tool, resource, prompt. So there's four different things that the protocol speaks to. Tools, On the server prompt. side, yep. And on the client side, okay, there's amazing. others. Like elicitation is like new. Yes, I think actually that's for contributed the, the elicitation. Where yeah, your MCP server can say like, oh, I need some more information from the user. Yeah. yeah. A, like a form or something? Wow, that's interesting. Well, I mean, you can Model do it however you want. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. So all sorts of good stuff. And then... Progress tokens. So yeah, that was kind of some of the stuff we were talking about with state being able to get progress tokens. And so I, I'm I need to dive deeper into all this yeah. stuff, but but it's it's good. So good. So good. Yeah. Well look at that. Oh, you yeah. got the MCP tool params. Yeah. So just like tool params we like we saw before. Yeah. And when we do the tool demo with the scheduler. Yeah. And logging. Interesting. Yeah, yeah that's client side. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Get great the stuff bits. there. Start that spring Make sure you update to yeah. you. Yeah. 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 0. M1. M1.